Hello everyone. Um, we're going to solve a problem on the board. And the question said 15 gram of impure sodium triosocarbonate 4 was made up to 250 cm cube of a solution. 25 cm cube of this solution neutralized 24. 0.5 cm cube of 0.2 mol per dm cube of hydrochloric acid. Calculate the percentage of impurities. So, what we are going to do here is to calculate the percentage of impurities. And we have the uh, balanced chemical equation in that place on the board. So, the first thing we're going to do here is to use the values given to us and then we'll try to uh, do justice to the question. Now, let's see how we're going to do this. So, that's um, 25, 15 grams. This 15 grams contains the impure substance. The 15 grams contains the, pure, the impure substance. That means the impurity plus. The impurity plus the pure substance, all of them are up to here. That is impure. This is the impure sodium tri also carbonate carbonate four. So now to do this thing, we look at this equation. We can use this equation to use a, the formula C A. B A all over C B B B equal to A over D, where this A and B stand for the uh, mole ratio. This one is equal to A, and this other one, the coefficient here is one. We have it to be what stand for B. Now the concentration, concentration of the acid. Is what we have here two that is 0 0.2 mole per dm cube. Concentration of the acid, concentration of the acid is what 0 0.2 mole per dm cube. And then the volume of the acid, the volume of the acid, which is VA, is 24.4 cm cube. Then the volume of the base of trisocarbonate we have um, V B equal to 25 cm cube according to the according to the question. So now as the case may be we we'll find out you notice that we don't have a concentration of B. That is what we're going to get because in this equation now. In this reaction, the in, the pure substances take part in the chemical reaction. The impurities does not react in the chemical reaction, so it did not take place. The impurities did not involve itself in the chemical reaction. So whatever we are going to get here is exactly the mass or the concentration in mole per dm cube of the word um, pure trioxocarbonate. So we're going to apply this our formula. We are going to apply our formula. Using our formula now, we have this our concentration here. We have 0 0.2 times the volume, which is the volume is what 24.5 all over all over concentration of B, the mole per dm cube, which we are looking for at the moment. So, and the volume, which is 25, then equal to A, the A is what? This A stands for 2, and the B stands for 1. So, if we cross over, we will have um, B will then be equal to 0 
two times twenty four times forty four all over five twenty five times two twenty five times two that will give us that will give us everything multiplying we have zero point zero nine and eight moles more per dm cube more per dm cube this is this means that the concentration of the tri sodium trizocarbonate the pure sodium trizocarbonate is zero zero point zero nine eight more per dm cube so the next thing we are going to do now since you are looking for percentage impurity we need to calculate get we find the mass of this the mass of sodium trizocarbonate to calculate the mass of sodium trizocarbonate what we're going to do here is we know that the relationship is mass is equal to moles mole times what um molar molar mass now our moles our mole here is what our mole is 0 0.098 times the molar mass the molar mass which is 106 that will give us that will give us 10 point three nine three point nine grams that's the mass of the pure mass of the pure triosyl carbonate so now we have the mass of triosyl carbonate the next thing we are going to do is to get the the impurities now I want us to get something clear here I want us to get something clear here. In this mass, this mass is in this mass we have here um, 15 grams is in 25 250 cm3. So now we need to find out what it will give us in 1000 cm3. Now, which what means that 250, what, what means that is that 250 is equivalent equal to um, 15 grams. Then 1000 1000 cm cube which is something as 1 gm cube 1000 cm cube is, is equal to 1 gm cube that means 1000 cm cube will give us 15 over 250 times 1000 over 1 that will give us and um, that should be about 60 60 grams that is 60 grams in a one thousand dm cube. So now, this sixty grams includes includes the include the impurities. Now look at the pure mass, the pure mass of the pure mass of uh, sodium trizocarbonate that we added. The pure mass of sodium trizocarbonate that we added is this. So. And we need to we, we are asked to calculate the percentage impurities. Now the percentage impurities now will be because we know that impurities impure plus pure will give us hundred percent. So now from here this is the pure. That means in this pure now we can say in order to get the percent you see that we calculate the percentage purity here and subtract it from hundred, we can still get the same answer. That means, in fact, that is what we're going to do here. So we calculate the purity, the pure substance. But that is not what, uh, uh, the, according to the question now, we, when we get this, when we get, let's calculate the percentage purity. First, percentage purity will give us 10, 10.39 over 60 times 100 over 1. Now, I think we can, using our calculator, we will get 0 
10.39 times 100 divided by 60 we have um, 17 point 17.31 percent that is for the pure this is for the pure um, of pure sodium tri also carbonate that's for the pure sodium tri carbonate now to get the percentage impurity which is the main thing we are asked to calculate here what we're going to do here is now from here since we know that impure impure plus pure will give us what 100 percent then then what we do here is let's do some here all right what we we'll do here is then our purity present a percentage impurity impurity will be um, equal to uh, 100 minus 17 point 17.31 so 17.31 we have a it's 2.7 percent as the of impure impurity impurities that's our final answer to that Right. Thank you so much for spending some time watching our our clip. Thank you.